Hi there, I'm Rebecca Brinkman and I'm teaching the course of Graphic Design with Canva for Funda Funda Academy. Over the course of my career, I've provided graphic design and publication services for employers ranging from a regional telecommunications company in Georgia to a church in Tennessee. And now I run my own small graphic design business based in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Of course, the better part of my life is that I'm a mom to a son and a daughter and I have two adorable grandsons. I'd like to tell you why I created this course. I believe that higher education and many of the jobs students will enter after graduation demand a skill that some might not be learning. That skill is the ability to communicate through visual media. Now, I'm not talking about learning how to draw or paint or create original art. I'm talking about someone learning the fundamentals of graphic design so that they can competently express important information through visually compelling designs. You know, something shifted in education and the workplace about 10 years ago when free online design software like Canva became readily available. At the same time, the way we communicate in marketing and social media became much more visually focused. This free and user-friendly software enabled those that were already naturally artistic while put a new burden on those that aren't. You know, not everyone is a natural visual communicator. For many, their strengths lie in communicating orally or in writing. So here's why I believe this course will benefit middle and high school students. By taking the time now to learn the basics of graphic design and discover their own unique style, I believe students will be that much further ahead of their peers when it comes to excelling in their classes and being successful when they enter the job market. I built this course around two platforms. The first is a teaching video that explains a core principle of graphic design as well as the different media types. The second is hands-on learning, building all sorts of design projects like flyers, book covers, presentations, social media graphics, infographics, short form video, and more. And that's absolutely how I learned and I have seen my students find success and new confidence as they've worked through these semester's projects. Even though I still use Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and other design software each day in my graphic design business, I have also come to rely on Canva. This free uh, Canva account provides thousands of templates and the company continues to improve their design tools every year. I believe that Canva is a terrific platform to use as students build confidence in their design skills. So let me tell you a little bit more about the course. As I mentioned before, each week a student will have one or two videos and then a video that demonstrates and explains that week's project. Working through the project will reinforce what was taught as it builds design skills. Also give students regular quizzes to test their knowledge, especially on those graphic design principles. And then at the end of the semester, they work together in a group project and also present a portfolio of what they've designed throughout the semester. You might be wondering how I grade the projects. My criteria for grading relies heavily on whether the student followed my sometimes really detailed instructions. The reason for this is that through my many years of creating graphics for clients, I've understood that paying very close attention to their request is the core of delivering what they want. This is a core skill that I want students who complete this course to carry with them. I believe that it will benefit them in many different parts of their lives. Giving feedback to my students after projects is also very important to me. After each project, I explain what might have gone wrong, as well as highlight what improvements they've made. Because I'm not in the classroom with them, I really treasure this opportunity to give them as much input from my own experience as I can. So let me give you a quick overview of the syllabus to see what the course offers through the semester. The syllabus is available on this course listing on the Funda Funda website. So you can open that up and download it if you need to and just take a look at that and see what you think and then contact us if you have any questions. So let's take a look and see what's coming up in the course. Uh, the first week is just an introduction. Um, I go ahead and get them right into the principles of graphic design. I get them set up with that free account 
on Canva and then they actually go ahead and create something. Week two, we explore more of the elements of design um, and, and we begin to get a little bit more into using Canva. How do you use it? I, I start to show them about templates and, um, and so forth. And then I have them create a report over all the graphic design elements to go ahead and really uh, really make that emphasis on how important those are. Then week three, we get into color theory and practice. In week four, we jump right into typography, which is a really important part of graphic design. You may think graphic design is just art, but for businesses and in schoolwork, the typography is also very important too to communicating. So we get into the basics of typography in week four. And then in week five, we have a little fun and we look at creative typography. I'll have them look out into uh, sources of media that are available to them to find some inspiration and just show them how creative typography can be. Week six, we really get into the heart of graphic design with layout and composition. Layout and composition involves how everything is placed on the page. They will learn why, why different configurations um, are better communicators and so forth. Week seven, we continue with layout and composition. We talk a lot more about layers and how important learning how to layer different elements is. And um, one of the fun projects there is, it's one of my favorites through the semesters is to create an ebook cover. It's my favorite because the students have to choose everything about the cover from the title to the author's name to how they illustrate what that book's about with their art on the cover. So that one's a lot of fun. Uh, week eight, we get into branding, which is very important when a student works for a company or even if they're presenting themselves. Branding is very important. We talk about all those different elements. Week nine, we continue with branding. Um, we talk about using a mood board to gather your ideas and then they create a brand board. So uh, a brand board, if you don't know what that is, that's where you put your logo. Uh, they're actually going to create a logo in this course and that's where they choose their colors and their typography and all the things that would represent a brand. Week 10, we start uh, uh, learning more about best practices. I want students to come away with a really good understanding of organization, of media files, how important it is to keep things organized, but we're also going to jump in just briefly to the Canva AI tools that are available in the free account. Um, there are two, Magic Design and uh, Magic Write, I believe, and we'll be starting to um, unpack for them how they can use generative AI to create, uh, and that's, that's using prompts, that's using imagery, and so we'll we'll talk a little bit about uh, the AI elements of Canva that are available. We'll also talk about best practices and ethical practices for AI. Week 11, we have a lot of fun with animation and short form video, two of my favorites. Week 12, we cover a very important learning skill, which is creating presentations. Your students may have already created presentations, um, and they're not always easy. So we really, but using everything they've learned up to this point, uh, the layout and composition and all of that, they're gonna pull that all together into presentations. Week 13, we talk about ethics and copyright law. And to uh, demonstrate that, I have them create an infographic. Now week 14, we start to hit into the home, we get into the home stretch of the semester. I teach them about using a whiteboard, uh, especially in collaboration with other students because they're going to work into a team project. In week 15, they finish their team project, they start working on their portfolio, and then in week 16, they finish that portfolio. So I hope you'll keep this course in mind for this semester and next. I really believe what students learn in the course will benefit them in school and later on in the workplace.